Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Celine, and I was thinking of a video to film because I'm kind of like on the kick of filming videos now, and now that I'm like filming more, so I'm super excited to film more videos. Now I was like, what book, um, what video would be interesting? And I've never really seen videos that booktubers make of them talk about classics they actually like. We always hear about classics people don't like, cause come on. There are, cl classics are pretty boring, um, or not up, cause we're used to reading modern day literature. That literature isn't appealing to us. But there are some classics that are good. Now, here are some classics that I've read over the years that I really enjoy. And the, the this video is going to be quite short because there aren't a lot. But I thought it was interesting because we always hear about oof, we always hear about how classics are so boring and a waste of our time. But I have some classics here that I enjoyed while I was reading them. None of these I actually picked up on my own roll. Uh, these were all for school. So, yeah. First off here, we got Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Longla. And this is the 50th anniversary edition. Um, so, this this book's over 50 years old. And I, every, when I read this, um, everybody was like, and everyone I heard, um, everyone I know who's read it said this book absolutely sucks. Like, there's not one person I know who's read it who likes this book. And I don't understand. Uh, it's not that bad. It does have its boring parts, but when you get into the storyline, it's wonderful. I love the plot of the story. I know there's, like, how many other books? Um, there's four other books. I don't know if I'll pick up those four other books, but I really, really, really liked A Wrinkle in Time itself. And I know this book's old, and it's won the um, John Newberry Medal. So, it, it was a good book. I liked it. There were parts in it I didn't like, but overall, I really, really, really did like it. Next here, we have probably my favorite from the pile. Um, I don't know. It's one of my favorites. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I just forgot what the author's name for a second. I love this book. Um, for to me, it's definitely a reread. I am gonna reread it someday, not anytime soon, because the state of my TBR is not looking good. But um, I definitely do want to reread this book. It, I think I would have enjoyed this book more if I didn't have to do work for it. And that's being completely honest because when you have to do work for something, something I love reading. I love reading, but when I have to do work for it, it takes away the pleasure of reading. And I only read classics when I have to do work for it. So th maybe that's a big reason why a lot of people don't like classics too. Because if you're in school and you have to do work for it, that that's understandable that you won't like it because you have to do work for it. But I really, really like To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, I know it can be considered a sad story. Um, I bet most of you who are watching this have read it. I, I don't know if it's like this in other countries, but at least in Canada, you sometimes read this during your uh, school career. So, but I really loved it. Like Scout, I loved her so much. I love Atticus. Atticus, I think, is my favorite character from the story, and it's amazing. And if you guys don't know. The, the sequel to Kill, a Mocking, for, to, to Kill a Mockingbird came out, Go Set a Watchman. And if you don't know, I'm just going to quickly go into this. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. But um, Go Set a Watchman was originally wrote, um, written before To Kill a Mockingbird. But Harper's um, publisher thing, I forget, um, told her that it would be better if she wrote something from like a young perspective of uh, of Scout before she released this and it just got released yesterday. I went to the store and um, picked it up on the release date and I am excited, like extremely excited to read this. It takes um, place when Scout is 26 and it seems interesting because it's a continuation to this. Oops. It's a continuation to this and I'm super excited because To Kill a Mockingbird was one of my all-time 
favorite classics that I've read, so that makes me even more excited to read Go Set a Watchman. Next we got, I'm just going to put these in two, um, in the same, and I'm going to mention them at the same time. Julius Caesar and Macbeth. These are the two Shakespeare plays that I've read, and I love Shakespeare. I think ah, that's why I'm not. I didn't. Kill a Mockingbird is one of my favorites, but I think it's tied with the Shakespeare because I love them so much. Um, I don't know. I think it's just the way the because it's not an actual book. You can call it a book if you want. I don't know. I call it a play because it is a play. There's lines in it. So I read Macbeth. I read Macbeth first, and then I read Julius Caesar after, and I loved both of them. I did enjoy Macbeth more than Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar. Um, it was interesting, but there were times that I got bored, and but I still went through. It was good. It was good, but Macbeth was more interesting, and I've these are the only two I've read, and I actually did a play for Macbeth. <laughs> it was really um, it wasn't the best. I didn't even have a big part. I was the porter, and I was also all the messengers in the play, so it wasn't really that big. I did have lines. Especially the porter lines, but um, I didn't have big lines. So I also did like a skit for Julie Caesar. It was a part of my assignment, um, and that was not good either. I'm not good at acting. Let's just face it. But these books are amazing. Like I love Shakespeare. I I don't know. I think it's just a way because it's wrote written like the if you're speaking the lines, it's not obviously modern day English. It's Shakespearean. And I think that's what I love about it. So I actually here have um, some of my work for the thing. It's really messed up because I don't care about it now. But we got, oh, okay. You know, I think it's the best thing I'll show this. But I have like tons of work in here. Like tons of of, of work. There's, I don't think this is even all of it. I think I took out some because it started exploding, this this binder, and it's huge. But yeah, those are the classics I personally enjoyed. I would love to know what classics you guys enjoy because maybe I will read those on my own free time. Like the first classic, well this is actually a classic. Um, Ghost of the Watchmen isn't a classic yet, but I think that's the first like I guess you can call it a classic, I don't know, classic book I'm going to pick up on my own, and I'm excited about that, honestly. I hope I'm going to read it very soon, and I just want to know what classics you guys enjoy, because I will, I'll, like, research them, and I'll pick it up. I know there's a couple classics I really want to read, like, there's a couple I want to read, and I just want to hear what you guys like because that I, I just want to know so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll have another video up very soon and I'll see you all later bye